So my name is Sherman Benjamin. I'm a physics graduate student uh, at Florida State University, and I'm a graduate research assistant at the National Hibernetic Field Laboratory, the Mag Lab. And for show and tell, what I have right now is my a globe. Um, it has two meanings, one a more personal meaning, one a wider meaning. When I was in high school, uh, my teacher, Ms. Nataraja, had posed a question to the class, and she had asked us, um, if someone was on this on this object, this globe, and it's the globe is rotating, um, if someone is at the equator and one other person is at the actual um, pole, one of the poles, um, are they moving at different speeds, or what are their speeds and stuff? And, and my you know, naive answer, which is the same as everyone else in the class, was they move at the same speed. So if you're on the object, the object's moving, it's a solid object, everyone has to move at the same speed. But then she made clear to us that we weren't moving at the same speed, and there was a distinction between, you know, angular velocity and linear velocity and, and other different things in science. So she actually went on the board, proved it mathematically, and that really, like, caught my attention, like, oh, wow, this is, this is real, you know, this is something I experience every day, and in my naive mind, I see that we both, everyone moves at the same speed, but in reality, we, we, we don't, mathematically. So then after she actually had us do that, she had us sit down and really, really think about why this is true. After we sat there, really thought about it, like, me and my friend, we looked at each other like, oh, this is, this is, this is not bad. She's right. From that day, I remember from that day on, I was like, this is, this is pretty cool. That right there really pushed me into the science, into the science route. It, it, it was clearly so multi-leveled, but I also like it because it was intriguing. It was these different things come together now making sense and, and bringing light to something that, you know, I thought was one way, which was really the other way. So that's one thing. And also I think it has a global meaning just because I, just like, you know, art and music is you know, it's considered to be the, a universal language or one of the universal languages. Um, I think science in its own right is a universal language. Just because, you know, people could relate when it comes to artistic feelings and emotions and also with music. So science is also something that's pretty, pretty broad where, or it basically touches everyone. Everyone experiences the sun shining. Everyone is on the globe, the globe rotating. Everyone actually experiences these scientific things. Everyone is kind of intrigued, you know, why does a magnifying glass burn the ant? Or why does this happen? Why does that happen? Um, like everyone is actually curious. So we may not speak exactly all the same perfect language, you know, and understand, us, and understand each other um, in that sense. But scientifically, we all have that common, that commonality between us. So that's definitely, yeah, that, that's it. <laughs>